Hello everyone, and welcome to the new year. This is 2023 and it's the year of the rabbit. Did you know that there are all kinds of rabbits in Toho? There are earth rabbits who live in Jinsuku, and moon rabbits who live on the moon. It's so cool to imagine them living side by side in two very different places. Today, I'm going to do a special on these two types of rabbits. We'll take a look at their history, culture, and lifestyles. So stay tuned. The earth rabbits living in Jensuku are distinguished from normal rabbits as we know them. As they are able to cast attack magic naturally. If a normal rabbit lives long enough, they may turn into a type of UK. Such a transformation is accompanied by an increase in capabilities and sentence. Moon rabbits are a special kind of rabbit existing on the moon. They are seen as tools used by Lunarians, who use them in various capacities, such as farming, calming medicine, cleaning, and even fighting in wars. This usage of rabbits in the moon is derived from legends originating in East Asia wherein the moon was populated by a rabbit, who was said to be pounding Maki. Earth and moon rabbits have a special bond. Earth rabbits can sing and dance together in perfect harmony. While moon rabbits can communicate telepathically with each other from far away distances, like from the moon to the earth. It's amazing how they can stay connected no matter the distance. It's incredible the lengths they go to to stay connected, don't you think? The moon rabbit and the earth rabbit have similar personalities. They both tend to be laid back and carefree, enjoy socializing and love stories, gossip, and rumors. Moon rabbits are not generally good fighters but they can be trained, although they may not be too fond of it. Moon rabbits have a unique mindset since they live in an unchanging realm. They don't have the same sense of duty or loyalty as humans due to a lack of exposure to impurity. Earth rabbits in NT have a custom of pounding maki into rice cakes during the monthly lunar festival. This festival was created by Iron Yabikura to keep the full moon away. Since Iron and the others are fugitives of the moon, the Earth rabbits dedicate this labor to Lord Dikoku, Kagawa Rashin, and Iron Yabikura, out of respect. Arya mixes drugs into the Maki recipe to make the rabbits more excitable, so they can enjoy the festival. Moon rabbits, on the other hand, must pound Maki to atone for chains and of drinking the Aori elixir Iwakuo. Although they are said to be making rice cakes, they are actually attempting to create the elixir of Hawaii. What is the Aori elixir you may ask? So. The Aori Elixir is a forbidden elixir created by Iron Yabikura using copied Aorasin's power of the manipulation of eternity. Basically, if you drink it, you won't eat, you won't get sick, and you won't be able to die. You'll still be as vulnerable and frail as before. But any injury you receive will be healed in a matter of days. And even if you're completely destroyed, you'll be completely restored. It's pretty amazing but also pretty dangerous. While car characters who have drunk the Aori Elixir include Chani, Kahuya Urasin, Iron Yabakuro, and Fujiwara no Moku. But back to the rabbits. Earth and Moon rabbits are easily identified by the two long ears on the top of their heads. In Silent Center in Blue, all the NT rabbits are humanoid. While in Inaba of the Moon and Inaba of the Earth, they are in their animal forms except for the main characters. The rabbits defending NT in Imperishable Night are also in humanoid form. It is unclear if moon rabbits can take animal form, as they have never been seen doing so in canon. Moon rabbits are said to be close to immortal, as long as they stay away from impure places like Earth, but they can still be killed in battle. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed learning something new today. I have covered the two species of rabbits in Toho. There will be more rabbit related to how videos in the future where I talk about popular characters of the species. So please subscribe, 